All right, guys, I'm going to explain to you guys how to do the food webs activity. So first things first, on one side of the paper, you're going to put your name, and then you will flip the paper over. At the top of the paper, you're going to actually write down the following title. Food web of A, and then here you're going to put down which ecosystem you are working on. Okay. Now, at the very bottom, you're going to want to put down the word bacteria because this is going to be your level of decomposers. And then above that, you're going to put down plants. Okay, that is your first level of your energy pyramid because this is the level that has the greatest amount of energy. So your job is to now find six other organisms, which are specifically six other animals that belong to your particular ecosystem that you chose. So for example, let's say for instance, you had a desert ecosystem, okay? So we're gonna put on here um, one particular animal, a scorpion. But here's the thing, there are many types of scorpions in this world, so if you're going to do a scorpion, you have to include very specific species of uh, scorpions. Um, in the desert, there is literally a or a species of scorpion called the desert scorpion. Okay. Um, another organism that's found in um, a desert are lizards. Okay. Well, then I had to research what kind of lizards were in the desert. So there's one kind of lizard called the thorny devil. So here I have a very specific type of species on there, okay? One thing you should know about these two organisms is that a desert scorpion is considered a carnivore, so I'm gonna put this on here, okay? A thorny devil is also considered a carnivore. And then I found a spider, and specifically in the desert I found a black widow spider. That one is an omnivore. Okay, so there's three right there. And by the way, if you decide to do a desert ecosystem, you are not allowed to use these ones in your particular food web. Okay, because this is only for demonstration purposes. Okay, now next level of energy roles are, are this would be our first level consumers and second level consumers. And here I'm going to put our third and fourth level consumers because you can combine them together. So I'm going to put down a desert coyote. And in the middle, I'm going to put down a roadrunner. The reason why I'm putting in the middle is that it leaves me room for all six of them. And then I'm going to do the African wild dog. Okay, so now I have my organisms. The next step is to actually create the arrows for my food web, okay? Uh, with that being said, I also have to make sure, again, I list my energy rolls underneath it. So here, also, this one is a carnivore. African wild dog is a carnivore. Not only did I have to find out the organisms that live in that particular ecosystem, I also have to find out what specific items do these organisms eat, okay? The reason why I have to look that up is, I'll give you a great example, like the black widow spider. So I'm actually going to use um, one of my color brown because I like to use colors in my food webs. I know a black widow spider likes to eat um, small leaves and twigs, um, along with, uh, obviously, it will also eat the scorpions, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to draw an arrow from the plant to the black widow spider, okay? It will also infect scorpions, okay? So that was the question of what the organism eats, and now I have to go back and write down what organisms eat the black widow spider. And according to this, actually there are desert scorpions that will do the same and actually eat them. So it's a battle between the two of them. Okay. Um, other organisms that'll eat the spider, they I, there's none other ones that are listed here, so I am done with my black widow spider. 
So then I switch my markers and I do the thorny devil, okay? And according to what I found out online is they are carnivores. So the thorny devil will actually eat scorpions. So desert scorpion is a scorpion. So I'm going to draw an arrow here. And then whatever eats the, the um, lizards, okay? Well, coyotes will eat lizards and dogs will eat lizards. But you have to also keep in mind, which I forgot for the black widow spider, you have to also draw an arrow to our decomposer because our decomposer is going to actually decompose all of these organisms when they die. So like I pointed out here. Okay, next switch colors. I'm going to go with the desert scorpion. The desert scorpion actually gets, um, does not eat anything that's listed here, but it does get eaten by roadrunners because they like scorpions. Dogs actually like scorpions, okay? And then again, down to the bacteria. You're gonna keep doing this for each of your organisms that you have on here, okay? Don't forget, biggest thing is under bacteria, you have to make sure that you bring all of the arrows down to the bacteria because they're decomposers. So I should write on here that bacteria is a decomposer because that's its energy role. And then under plants, I need to have down producer because that's its energy role. And then once you are finished, you're going to fold this in half and put it in the inbox. All right, so that is your food web project. If you have any questions, message me or ask me in class. Good luck.